Hi, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Insta Preview. And I'm going to be showing you how to set it up and how to use it. Now the Insta Preview is available on the TX and R414 and above. And here I'm going to be using a 515 along with the BDSP 809 Blu-ray player, an Apple TV and a PS3. So I'm going to show you how they all hook up and how to set up the Insta Preview and how it works. The first thing we need to do is actually hook up all of the sources via HDMI because the Insta Preview will only actually work with the HDMI connection. So, now we've got everything hooked up, let's go and see what's happening on screen. Right, so now we've got the video playing. You're going to need to pick up the remote control and actually press the home button when it's in receiver mode. This will bring up the home menu, press enter and you've now got the four windows. These will appear at the bottom of the screen or the top or either side depending on what the setting you've selected in the setup menu. Now we've moved along and I can see my Apple TV there in the PC window. I'm going to press enter and it's going to switch to the Apple TV. Straight away, no problem at all. You will experience a small delay because of the HDMI switching and the handshake, but nothing to worry about. And there we go, straight into the next source and playing a video. Here I've got the Blu-ray player showing the THX dem. Press the home button for the Insta Preview. Press the enter. I can move along to the PS3 window. And those of you with sharp eyesight would have seen that I've actually relabeled the inputs. And those inputs now mimic the sources that we're using. As in the Blu-ray player, Apple TV and the PS3. It's a very, very simple system that allows you to see what inputs are active and what's actually showing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.